an ancient story from my ancestors. I know it is ancient, for I am an aging man, and this is from before my time. But back in my home, I learned this as a small child, watching the embers dance above the fire. North of Lisbon, between Lisbon and Queenborough, is an enchanted forest of Sintra. Of Sintra is a magical place. The mists never leave. They say when you travel through it, you travel between the earth and the heaven. Before it was so, it was the realm of a great king, a caliph, those who came before my people. And while Rome will tell you that Iberia was conquered. Christians came long before. They came as shepherds and farmers. They came as craftspeople. And they were welcomed by the caliphates. There was a shepherdess, beautiful, fair of skin, blonde of hair, blue of eye, like no other. And the caliphate and the king, when riding, saw this beautiful shepherdess, and thought, I must have her to wife. I am not yet married and must have children. And so he approached the shepherdess and said, I would have you to wife. I am the king. You must marry. And she said, no, I am Christian. I can only marry one, and my husband can only marry one. You marry many, he said, but I must have many children to be sure that there will be an heir. She said, no, I cannot. He left, troubled. The next day he returned, hoping to find the shepherdess. She was no longer there. A week passed. And again, the shepherdess, following her flocks, came to the same place. The king knew nothing of sheep, and that they move to where the food is. But seeing the shepherdess, he mahi approached again as he had to, to ask again for his wife to marry. And he said, I will promise I will take no other than you, if you will marry. She said, no, I cannot. For I can only marry a good man. I do not know that you are this person. The king was enraged. He ordered his men to take the shepherdess into his tower so he could prove his goodness. <laughs> there may be a small cultural divide here. <laughs> but he treated her kindly. He gave her riches of food and clothing and comforts that she never need work again. And he came to her in her tower and said, will you marry? You see I am good, I will treat you with kindness and with generosity. The shepherdess said, you treat me with kindness and generosity, but that is not the mark of a good man. A good man does not treat that which is family with kindness and generosity. The king went off again, perturbed, making promise after promise, until he realized the kindness and generosity that he showed the shepherdess, he must show to all of his people. And when that generosity, he opened his stores, he opened his heart, he allowed people freedom of movement, freedom of worship. He accepted Christian and Muslim and Jew into his kingdom. He went back to the shepherdess and said, will you marry me now? The shepherdess said, I will only marry a good man, and you are he. But that is only the beginning of the tale. For 20 years they ruled together in love and peace, bearing many children and prosperity, until Rome came. Rome is not welcome in Portugal. Whether under the rule of the caliphate or the Christian kings, 
Rome stays away. But they came with sword and horse and armor, and they came to conquer and to take of the prosperity of his caliphate. The king came to the shepherdess, who he had learned was Bruja. Bruja means witch, but not like Christians. The Bruja of the Iberia are wise. They have magic. They care for people. They change the world and make it better. He said, I, I am feared for your safety. I am sending my people south where a brother king has agreed to treat them as I have. But I must stand to face Rome. She said, you would send me and your people away to keep them safe? What of your treasures? He told her, they mean nothing to me if you are not safe. The shepherdess said, send your people south. I will protect your treasures. Together we will stand against Rome. The people went south. They moved their homes to a place they would be safe. And while the king rode out alone to face the Romans, she stood before the castle and wove her spell. High in the mountain above Sintra, where the woods had grown, the mists poured out from the castle. The treasures vanished. To this day, no one has heard it the Bruja since. But if you are lost in those woods, which many do, you are seeking that treasure lost to time and to man. Never again are you heard from. But if you are lost in the woods, even today, and you are simply seeking your way home, you will meet the Bruja da Sintra, a kind one, golden hair and blue of eye, who will guide you safely to your home.